Hello, this is Mark McClure, and I'm a writer of science fiction and other things too. This is the video update of my monthly now update on my website. On the bottom left hand corner of the screen here, you can see my website address, markmcclurtoday.com. If you go there and just put a slash, forward slash rather, an N-O-W for now, you'll get the current monthly update. This month, um, we're near the end of March now, but I published an update on the 29th of March, and there were four updates. It's quite a short update. The first thing was I finished uh, this science fiction book here by Christopher Priest, British author, who recently passed away, actually, um, after a long career. It's called uh, Inverted World, and it was published in 1974. I find it a fantastic tale still holds up nearly 50 years later. There are a few issues with it, but I think if you enjoy science fiction and very intriguing philosophical ideas about the nature of the world and reality, um, this book is recommended. Uh, once I finished that, I then started and one that sat on my desk here for a while. This is a contemporary author, of course, Andy Weir, who wrote The Margin. He's written a couple of books since that one. I haven't got those yet. But I've started this one, Project Hail Mary, which you would probably find called hard science fiction. In other words, it uses science, not just a narrative, to hold the story together. And so far it's a great read. I'm about halfway through and I thoroughly recommend this book on what I've read so far. Now, I've also been experimenting with uh, my writing process. You know, things change as you learn new things. And I discovered this author, sorry, this author a while ago. Uh, this is his book here, a guy called Jack Grapes. Um, his book's called Method Writing. He's actually got another one called Advanced Method Writing, and I have that one too. And I'm working my way slowly through this. If you've heard of method acting, um, some of the ideas, perhaps a lot of Jack's ideas, came from that. Um, anyway, um, the second book I bought, which I also find extremely helpful, is by one of his uh, students, who's now a teacher of this method writing process. This book's called uh, Level One Method Writing, the Brush Up Book, by Lisa Siegel. And I've read this a couple of times, and I'm going through it again. I'm about halfway through that one, almost, and starting to do, to do the exercises. And it's fascinating. I'm very much taken by this writing process. In fact, one of the quotes from Jack Grapes' book, um, I'm just reading it off the screen now on my webpage, the Nye Update page. Um, a favourite quote of mine is, he says, There's no flow, just the workout. I'm not worried about finishing a story. Full stop. Um, he goes on to explain a little bit more about that. So his, his whole shtick, his whole idea is that you should always be doing an exercise when you're writing, some kind of... Um, craft almost skill and from that the story that you want to tell will emerge. Not everyone may agree with that. You can see by my eye roll here perhaps. I'm not 100% convinced but I came in being less than 50% convinced he had something valuable to teach me. I'm now about the 80% mark so I'm going to stick with it and see what I can get from it. Uh, the third update on my now uh, page was for cherry blossoms because I'm based in Tokyo. I've been for a long time. The Sakura, the cherry up blossom update, it's like a weather forecast here. It literally is a weather forecast. They talk about it for weeks beforehand. So they finally started to bloom. I think here in Tokyo it's going to be very warm again, Sunday, as I'm recording this, Sunday the 31st of March. And yesterday was warm, 24 Celsius or so. It might be get to 26 today. So after a cool week or two weeks of uh, rainy type weather, um, it's going to be very warm and that will make the buds come out and there'll be lots of people going to favourite viewing spots and so forth. I don't do that anymore, it's too crowded. I'm getting a little bit on in years for all that type of hassle. So I just go to a local park and there are cherry blossoms there and it's just as beautiful in my opinion. Uh, the final update from my now page was, um, this is about the very tragic event, happened 13 years ago, the uh, Great East Japan Earthquake, as it's called in the Japanese um, version, the English translation is the Great East Japan Earthquake. The tsunami that occurred in uh, the earthquake followed by the devastating tsunami that occurred in northeastern Japan on March the 11th, uh, 2011. It's 13 years have passed since that day and I remember that day very very well. 
I was in Tokyo, so not directly affected. Anyway, if you want to read more about that, I have reposted um, on the website, indicated on my Now page update, uh, two pieces of writing that uh, came about from my reflections on that terrible day. Okay, I think that's it for now. Um, apologies if this hasn't come across technically perfect. I don't have a special microphone set up yet. I'm recording directly from the iPhone, which is just attached to my monitor in front of me here. It's about, what, half a metre away. And I'm using Camo Studio and I have a lot to learn. Anyway, all being well, I'll try to create another of these updates and speak to you next time. Thanks for watching.